Hello. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the Rambling Peach. Hey, y'all. I'm down here at the greenhouse right now. And I wanted to show y'all the few flowers that I picked up at the uh, Petals from Time. This is a pufferfish hydrangea. Isn't that pretty? And this, Santa Barbara. And this poor little thing <laughs> is Garden Phoenix, David. Oh, uh, it had really pretty blooms on it when I got it, but I knew it was dying out. And I'm going to put it up for the time being and see what happens with it. This can be taken out of here. And this. <laughs> and probably a few other things that are in here. But this is a leaf that I'm going to attempt to um, grow from this hydrangea. But I'm going to put that right there so it'll stay wet. And I'm going to put this back in here because I've got water in this container and that way it keeps it sucked up from the bottom. And hopefully these will do good. I really like this silver. It's got some pretty blooms on it and that too. The rest of my poor old flowers are in rough shape right now. But it's the end of the season. My little banana trees are growing like crazy that I put in here and put them in this pot. And they're doing good. Got some more in that pot. These are elephant ears. And they were doing horrible. And so I put them down in this pot. And uh, I don't know. They're doing good right now. We'll see how they do. That's some more banana trees that I've transplanted. But, like I say, you never know. And here is what's left of the blooms and it's getting little seeds on them from my asparagus plant and so there'll be more seeds dropping for the season these will these have already so this one can be broken off already several in here that can be broken off already there's a few more blooms right there it's gonna be nice i'm gonna have asparagus next year i think i'll have enough to have a mess or two off of it and I really like asparagus, guys. Okay, guys. Today, I'm out here putting some of this 2 by 4 wire on my chicken pen that I built. Because this uh, hog panels are awfully heavy. And I'm going to put this on here. And hopefully, the coons and possums won't be able to get in my chicken wire that way. And look over how I'm dressed. Because it's hot as Hades out here. <laughs> And so I got on a little bit of nothing. It just ain't a pretty sight, but it could have been years ago. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Put this over here. I'm trying to cut this so that I can roll it back around my wire that I have existing here. That way, when I move it, it'll just help make it that much sturdier. I hope y'all can see this. That right there. Try to put some music on so you guys can have something besides me to look at, listen to anyway. <laughs> While this is going on. Alright. We're just about there, folks. We're just about there.
but the other side where I've got a, about a foot gap I'm probably going to put some more wire on it um, for now anyway but that's what's going on on the Peaches homestead today guys thank you for coming don't forget to hit that bell so you'll know when I'm putting out another video and like and leave me a comment and tell me what you would have done different I don't know it's just how I figured to do it <laughs> I'm gonna get around here if she'll let me and let y'all see what this crazy dog is doing. Now she could get the cat if the cat would, if she want, really wanted the cat. But instead she's up here acting like she's gonna capture this cat. She just wants the cat to run. <laughs> Are you after the cat? So the cat stopped paying her any more attention than the man on the poster. So you got to see. Rosie, how are you going to get that cat? I don't think she couldn't jump that two foot if she really wanted to. <laughs> She's sitting on my Premier One fencing up here on the shelf. How she got up on this shelf, I have no clue. But she, if she can get on this stern shelf, you know she can take that other stuff and get this stern cat off of there. And look, poor Cinnabon, Cinnabon, saying, are this dog driving you absolutely insane? Look at here, Cinnabon, you're not even worried about this over here, you dog are. <laughs> get it, are you getting her, Rosie? Oh my goodness, Cinnabon's gonna take your head off one of these days. In a barn. Sweetheart. <laughs> what these children of mine do, I swear. Let me see, where's old buddy? Poor old buddy. Buddy's been visiting all week because his dad's been gone to Vegas. And Buddy is the boss at his house, so he's having a horrible life. Buddy, buddy, turn around and look at me, sweet man. Bye bye. Buddy. Hi, hey, man. What are you doing? Are you mad? Look how muddy he is. His daddy keeps him spotless, guys. This poor dog. <laughs> he is spotless when he's at home. He gets a bath every time he comes to our house because he wants to roll in turkey poop. No, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. You'll get more of the crazy, dizzy stuff that goes on here on the homestead. All right, this is the Rambling Peach. Love you guys.